Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your mid-April 2019 astrology and tarot reading. I hope you guys are all doing really well. Now Sagittarius, this is quite a change for you because your ruler Jupiter is going retrograde in your sign in that first house. Now this to me is like your ultimate makeover to have your ruler retrograding in your sign is such a pause and a reflection to really go deep with who you are. Now, <clears throat> that's not to say you will suddenly change absolutely everything about yourself. That's not necessary. But what it is, is that you're going to be thinking more about what makes you you, what more drives you, your personal identity. There may come a few moments where you consider if what you're doing is authentic to yourself, who is your true authentic self and what is the most important? Because the first house is your personality, it's your temperament, it is the way you feel about life, the way you react to life and your physical appearance. So because this is your ruler going retrograde and this will affect you prominently as well if you are a Sagittarius who has a lot of Scorpio placements because Pluto is going retrograde as well and so is Saturn. And we are, so we're we are going into retrograde season. We had a little taste of it with Mercury, but I promise you, Mercury retrograde affects us a lot more than the slower moving planets. There is a post about Jupiter um, going retrograde on my Instagram, which is linked below if you want to read it. Um, it's a little bit more in depth than I'm going here because it really is more of a collective energy to pause and reflect and change the little things that you've been meaning to change for a while. Uh, Jupiter in your sign is a wonderful event that happens every 12 years and if you had sort of gotten out of the feeling that Jupiter in your sign was important, um, <clears throat> it's a good time to revisit what it is that you want. Make a vision board, uh, make a manifestation journal, make a, make a manifestation list, whatever it is that's speaking to your heart that you want to get out of life, Sagittarius, this is a great time to reflect on it and really consider what it is that you want your own life to look like. Be selfish with this particular transit. Now we do have a full moon, <clears throat> that being said, on your, on 19th of April in your 11th house of group friendships, collective friendships. Um, this can, of course, mean, now you will know a little bit more about this depending on what was going on on the 20th of March when the first full moon in Libra happened in the first degree. This is the 29th degree. So as we've gone through that change, that shift, something may get lost in the process. Maybe somebody, maybe an old friend, or maybe you have had some sort of closure or realization when it came to your friendships. <clears throat> maybe you have realized that you've outgrown a certain community or a certain project or a certain lifestyle choice. Um, with Jupiter retrograding in your sign, that's entirely possible. On April 20th, the sun moves into Taurus and it will conjunct Uranus on the 22nd. So <clears throat> as this is occurring in your area that surrounds health, it surrounds fitness, it surrounds diet, you might make a radical change in these areas. It also rules your day-to-day -day habits and the people that you associate on a day-to-day -day basis that could be colleagues. Um, you're really going to have some major shifts in this area. Now the dust will probably settle within a few days so be careful not to suddenly rush into a workout if you've not worked out in 10 years or something and then hurting yourself. Decide what the changes are and as I say make that vision board. But don't push too hard on something that you cannot undo, okay? So um, it may feel like you just want to suddenly change everything and revolutionize your health. It may also bring up awareness to something in your health that you need to be mindful of, something you've maybe been ignoring um, around the full moon. You know, a lot of things can be illuminated, not just the way the house is affected. And that full moon in particular is actually aspecting in a slightly challenging way um, Uranus. So Uranus being in your health sector, do be careful not to ignore things because it can be your body's way of telling you something. It might be telling you, you're not giving me enough vitamins. You're not letting me rest enough. Um, Jupiter in your sign can make you all go, go, go and very optimistic and very forthcoming. Um, the retrograde may actually do you some favours and 
again in terms of finance <clears throat> capricorn and pluto both retrograde in your financial house so it's a time to revisit your relationship with money as i did say uh, the jupiter in your sign can make you a little bit more um well you're a naturally positive and optimistic sign don't get me wrong but this could be making you slightly naive to how much you can achieve and how quickly um you may be spending more than it's coming in so let's have a little look at your cards too Sagittarius I think you'll like this but I'm also using the wild unknown animal spirit deck by Kim Kranz it is my new favorite deck I love it it's little uh spirit animals and I can learn so much from them and it's so spot on so I really 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 enjoy that deck so we'll go into that at the end as well Ah, we've got a flip card. Let's see, Sagittarius, what's going on for you? Okay. Ah, the Two of Cups, right off the get-go. Okay, so something considering your soulmate, your lover, or a prospective partner the emperor it could be an aries or it could be a scorpio the mars energy is coming in very clearly and i do bear in mind um first house energy with jupiter retrograding in your first house the first house is mars okay it's aries so this is telling me a lot of you are dealing with an aries person possibly somebody older <coughs> excuse me um but we're still in airy season as well. The third house, you have an idea or a new launch on the horizon. The challenge is the competition or the perceived competition. And the outcome, Sagittarius, is the tower. So we are having a major makeover, as I said. Underneath, we also have the king of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Now let's draw two more for the tower. Four of pentacles and the ten of wands. Okay, now, Sagittarius, please don't panic about these, by the way, because I can see quite clearly, astrologically, what that is. That is you pushing your body too hard and Uranus telling you, with that full moon, the challenging aspects, that you are pushing yourself too hard. If you're not careful, you could really hurt yourself unnecessarily. That being said, you don't need to do that, okay? So, you have been at one point or another Sagittarius in such a spot of chaos in your life now this doesn't have to be recent um, sometimes the emperor can hark back to a stern father or even in your case I think with the five of wands almost an absent father so there could be some sort of issues from the past that got dragged up when mercury was retrograding in your family sector or Venus conjunct Neptune in your family sector. There can be this haze over your childhood. And with Saturn, the planet that rules the father going retrograde, a lot of people that have issues there will revisit them. And it doesn't have to be a father, but it can be a father figure or someone who's older. There could be challenges to do with um, moving somewhere or somebody's ambitions taking time away from the partner. I do think with the tower here, there has been some sort of miscommunication that needs to be addressed before the crumbling moment, okay? Now, I did mention before, you have this insane optimism that everything will work out okay. I think it's a Taylor Swift song, so he's just Sagittarius, that Shake It Off song. Um, the epitome of a Sagittarius that keeps having these tower moments, um, a song wise, you know, I've got this music in my mind saying it's going to be all right. Um, I'm not going into her as a person per se, but it's that lyric and that Sagittarian link, that optimism coming through in a song. And what I can sort of get for you is that you do have your eye on the future, um, and you have these projects and you have these plans and you can see success for yourself. That's what Jupiter is all about. And a lot of you have maybe recently started being so financially independent. Maybe you started up a new business. Maybe you started up a new job and you have all these opportunities to make money. And with Saturn and Pluto going in retrograde in your financial sector, it's saying, hold on a second. Or your partner is being that person and saying, hold on a second. Somebody in your life is saying to you, 
don't spend beyond your means save for a rainy day okay and you might not take that so well because you're thinking this is my party this is my Jupiter year don't hold me back as a Scorpio who had their Jupiter year do bear in mind that when you have one of these years things can fall so easily into your lap but what you do with them is important the way you feel about yourself is the key Uh, With Jupiter in your first house, yes, opportunities arise to you, but if you don't have the self-worth, if you don't have the self-confidence, you can repeat the same mistakes over and over, no matter how much Jupiter tries to help. That is important to know, okay? And you deserve to be happy and have your Jupiter moment. So do not fight off the people that love you. Assess if they're saying things because they're jealous or because they have your best interests at heart. What would they gain from watching you fall? And if they did gain something from watching you fall, they wouldn't be your people. If, however, this is a tried and true relationship where they're honestly saying you, back up, I think you're headed towards something. You should listen to them. Because the Tower and the Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands says that you may have these opportunities and you may work very, 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 very hard, but what you're doing behind the scenes is equally as important. And that's not to sound down on you, because the Two of Cups is a beautiful omen. And the Tower is basically just saying, Sagittarius, that if you can consider what it is that you are actually building, which is what Jupiter Retrograde wants you to do. It wants you to consider what path you're building. So the tower is actually kind of a brilliant card to come up. It's letting you know that this period of reassessment is good. And the four of pentacles is saying, save a little bit for a rainy day. Because you still have to do the work with the 10 of wands. Now, (coughs) I meant to, I'm I'm gonna draw one more card by the way. Yes. Okay. Because I just had this feeling that I should. The Ace of Cups is this beautiful new emotional beginning. So what I can see now, Sagittarius, is that you have some heavy things that need to be addressed in order for you to benefit from Jupiter's abundance. And that's not a bad thing. Okay. I promise you it's not a bad thing. If you're not in a romantic relationship, there's very likely one coming in. Okay. Um, Venus goes into... Aries, your fifth house of romance, on the 20th of April, okay? Um, That's wonderful for romance. That is just delightful when Venus is in your fifth house. Um, (laughs) And with it, there seems to be this promise of a new relationship. However, as I say, with Saturn... um, retrograding it's almost as if the most significant man in your life um the relationship whatever challenging aspect is something that you kind of need to address um for some reason that's just sort of flagging and it's maybe a partner that you've never let go of or it's maybe um somebody's evaluation of you that was negative that you've never been able to let go of. The tower is saying, if you can have all the success in the world, believe me, Jupiter in your sign, you can have all the success in the world, but you need Sagittarius to be very, very, very wary of building um, your towers in the sand, as it were, especially if it's quicksand. Whatever this is, whatever challenge it is to your own personal rule book, Sagittarius, this is your year okay you've 12 months of this if you have to take the second half of april to use that sun uranus conjunction to take care of your health to take care of your finances to consider what it is that you want you will come into this once again in may very refreshed the sun uranus conjunction happens but once a year This year it is happening in your sector of health. For you later degree Sagittarians, this may be affecting you more romantically, okay? That just depends on the degree system. It might be hitting you romantically. You might be finding your romantic life becomes quite heavy or you suddenly feel very aware of it. So if you're aware of the absence of a partner or you're aware of the problems within a relationship, take time to breathe. The sun you're in its conjunction, there's no need to act impulsively 
it's more about reflection and I know that you wanted action I know that you wanted to go full steam ahead but you have goals and ambitions that need the best version of yourself to work okay so this is a very very good time to evaluate where it is that you stand and what it is that you want because your your dreams are still on the horizon your visions of what you want your life to look like are still out there in the ether waiting to come to you but you have to be open to them and if you're having these crisis moments of who am i what am i what am i really wanting um you may find sagittarius that it's harder to come by those things in order to receive the blessings and the answered prayers, you have to be doing something else. You have to have your attention on something else. Ah, the wheel. <laughs> okay, we've actually got three. The cosmic egg and the hawk. I love this. The wheel, the cosmic egg and the hawk. Now, you'll have to forgive me because I... Um, I'm just learning these so I'm going to need to read a little passage for you from the book but there's still interpretation coming up there and I'll add them into the cards but how cute is the wheel oh I love that wheel yes perfect okay desire to dwell to desire to delve deeper 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 I'm sorry Sagittarius <laughs> that was a lot of d's for me Profound peace and ancient wisdom. Okay, so the, the wheel represents profound emotional health and stability. Now, that's what we were saying about the sun conjunct Uranus in your health sector. Your health is priority. Um, it's one of the priorities, probably the top one when that conjunction occurs to think about. Wheel personalities are not afraid of emotional expression or traversing difficult terrain as they have overcome many challenges in their lives. These experiences have enriched them, given them stability, strength and a depth that is rare. Wheel energy is usually linked to the feminine forces of compassion and communication. We can depend on wheel personalities when all else seems lost and trust them to be a beacon in our darkest hour. When in balance, they are calm, steady, deeply compassionate. When out of balance, they are heavy and slips into old story to bring into balance regular self-care. Now, I did say, Sagittarius, that there are some things possibly coming up from the past and they are making you feel very very aware of how deeply you can really go and the wheel is here to let you know that somebody in your life wants to support you for some of you it could really be a father you know some of you maybe have great relationships with your father and you have this beautiful connection where you can get help from them or this is who the person you need to talk to um, maybe you're a daddy's girl or something like that or maybe it is your partner is coming through as the wheel energy maybe they're coming through as somebody who is very supportive and lets you know that you can go deeper without worrying it could be a water sign a scorpio a cancer or a pisces now let's talk about this cosmic egg because i don't know if anything could sound cooler than a cosmic egg <laughs> there's a snake surrounding it um completion harmony the infinite within the finite okay so the cosmic egg is the final card in the journey of this deck. So it's kind of like the world. It represents the unfolding of cosmic consciousness. Beautiful when Jupiter is there. This state emerges after we tread the path for quite some time. And through self-effort and grace, we experience self-realization. That is gorgeous, Sagittarius. That is that Ace of Cups moment. Self-realization. As I say, Jupiter retrograding in your first house is a self-discovery that will serve you for the rest of your life. A sense of contentment and oneness spontaneously arises within us and the veils of our self-limiting beliefs are lifted. When the essence of the cosmic egg has not been act activated, we feel as though we'll never get there or that we travel alone disconnected from others. I also said in the beginning, Sagittarius, don't separate yourself from people who genuinely want to help you, especially if they're little wheels. Um, a flash of interconnectedness. Its potent energy sh stays with us. The cosmic egg is a remedy for the fragmentation of modern life. It's through the power of this card we are reminded of the cosmic contract written at the beginning. We hold on to life and life holds on to us. The journey is complete, but it does not end. I absolutely adore that card for you that makes so much sense Sagittarius I mean if you think about it 
first house retrogrades your home sign there is such profound energy in the air that will transform you and it's for the better i know that looking back at times can seem counterproductive and we often think we need to look back before we go forward but we're always going forward it pays to look back and see how far you've come at times and it also pays to see how much baggage you're truly carrying with you because we're not always aware of it we're not always aware of the stress we carry in our bodies through memory okay so trying something like reiki healing or crystal work or anything to just lighten the load of what it is that's holding you back from achieving your dreams Um, the hawk is a watchful all-seeing messenger of divinity so you're being looked after there are people around you who want to protect you and you want to see the bigger picture so the hawk is very very interesting it says when the card appears fate has its eyes on you and the winds are shifting It is said that the hawk carries news upon its wings and it's sent from divinity itself to deliver it. The message should not be taken lightly. Though it may seem small or insignificant, it will eventually redirect your course. (sighs) I think for a lot of you with Jupiter in your sign, there has been a disappointment. I remember when Jupiter went into Scorpio, we all thought that we would be immune to disappointments or... A feeling as though sometimes that luck wasn't actually on our side. But that was never the case. In hindsight, a miss in Jupiter retrograde is always a mercy. And I think something's disappointed you or something's worrying you or something's frustrating you, Sagittarius. The hawk is letting you know that there's a message on its way. You'll see some kind of spirit animal and you'll google it and it'll make sense maybe it's a whale maybe it's a hawk it's probably not a cosmic egg i don't know if you find a cosmic egg um if you find an egg that's multicolored it's probably not edible but easter's coming up so maybe it's that um the thing is sagittarius the hawk wants you to know that you're being looked after you're being watched and amidst the disappointment and the chaos that you're feeling surrounding something or you feel like you can't quite get away from the past there's a beautiful new opportunity of love whether it's love for what you do or love for who you have there's a beautiful opportunity of love and it is wonderful to see you so protected um i think that going into may it is worth taking a moment to reflect on how far you've come and it's also worth a moment to check in with what reactions you're giving that make no sense you're building an empire and you don't necessarily have to feel like you have it all together all the time because anybody that feels like they have it all together all the time is a phony but anybody that thinks that they can handle whatever's thrown at them will always be scheduled success okay Sagittarius so I love you guys very much I hope you enjoyed that reading and got something from it Um, I will see you in the next set and you guys take care of yourself and stay aware stay aware just bear in mind that cosmic egg is a beautiful delicious moment of understanding that you're headed for and it's on the other side of feeling as though you can't quite take much more so brace yourself for something beautiful okay Sagittarius see you later bye